Weather conditions in California could not be better for the worst kind of fire disaster. Our coverage continues now with Mark Strassman. In 24 hours, much of California became scorched earth. October traditionally is peak fire season in the Golden State, when the ground is driest and the winds are strongest. Flames broke out across the state this week because of the perfect firestorm called Diablo winds in Northern California and Santa Ana winds in the south. Those winds can gust up to near hurricane strength, racing downslope from the mountains and can send embers a half mile, igniting dry brush all over. What made the fires this week so catastrophic wasn't that it hit, but where it hit. 70 mile per hour gusts in Northern California's densely populated wine country fanned flames that left swaths of communities like Santa Rosa in ruins. Jonathan Cox is a battalion chief yeah, with so Cal Fire. The sheer size and scope of these fires right now is, is massive. Wildfires since Monday morning in Southern California have followed a similar pattern. In Anaheim Hills, south of Los Angeles, Canyon Heights Drive lost five homes in three hours. Even today, firefighters and homeowners battled hot spots. But these deadly and destructive fires could have been much worse. The winds died down today. Darren Wyatt is with Anaheim Fire and Rescue. Does the randomness of which homes got it, which homes were spared strike you? It, it does, but it's very random. So the fact that we've been able to save as many as we have is remarkable. For firefighters in Northern California, this forecast will get worse tomorrow night. High winds, low humidity. Anthony, this fire season has just begun here in California, and it's off to a scary start. Mark Strassman in Anaheim, thanks.